I know that uh, some of you are probably getting a little anxious to start getting some content up at your site to uh, give you the sense that uh, you know something is happening, and we're, we are getting close. Uh, however, there is a few steps that we need to do first. In fact, in order to get content uh, or items displaying on your site, it's really a three-step process in Joomla. First of all, we need to create categories. And then we need to create articles. And then a third step is we need to create menu items that will allow your visitors to click on a link that will lead them to the articles that uh, you want to show them. And in this tutorial session, we're going to take a look at categories in Joomla. Now, the, the way to make categories is to, first of all, go to the Category Manager, and you can do that either in the menu items up here under Content Category Manager, or you have a large icon here in your control panel. That might be the easiest. And uh, we see that we have two categories listed here already, uh, ones that we didn't delete in our last tutorial. A category called uh, uncategorized and one called blog. Now, some of you might be wondering, why would you have a category called uncategorized? And it's a good question. Uh, you'll probably find as you work on your website that there will be several articles that you create that are just unique. There, there's no other articles like them. For example, the article that we'll probably create telling a little bit about the mission of the site, you know, the About Us page. Well, you're probably only going to make one About Us page. It's a one-off. You're not going to make several of those. And so there's no real need to make a category for one article. And so because we know we'll have four or five like that that are just don't fit into any other grouping, then uh, we can stick those in uncategorized. And so at this point, we, uh, we probably need to address the question, what are categories and, and why do we need them? Well, categories is what brings organizational structure to your website. It helps you collect all of your data and put them in what you might consider as file folders. In fact, uh, they're very similar to the file folder structure that you might make for your word processing system or your whole computer system for that matter. Um, people make fun of me because I have way too much already on my C drive. But uh, I, I do at least have a folder called Docs. And then inside that folder, I have a, several subcategories. And some of these you know, even have more categories or subcategories uh, or subfolders. And this is basically the same type of idea uh, behind categories. It's a way to organize all of your content. Uh, think for a moment if you were to uh, just save every document that you make, every email, uh, every letter, every contract, every story you write, you know, everything that you create in your word processing system, if you just save that document out in the ocean, just, you know, on the C drive. Well, you can imagine after a year or two, you would have thousands of articles just floating around on the C drive with no organization to them. And you can imagine how difficult it would be to go back and find an article to edit or to review and how difficult it might be for anybody else to try and find articles when you have thousands just floating around out there on the C drive. Well, basically, it's the same idea here when we talk about categories. We're really, if it's easier to think of it that way, uh, think of them as file folders. It's a way that you can organize all of the content that you're going to create for your site. And uh, so you might want to take a moment, uh, pause the tutorial, and just get out a piece of paper and, and just think about your website. Or if you already have a live website, go take a look at it and and uh, see how it is organized, how it is structured. And then as you uh, take your pen and paper, you can kind of make a file hierarchy, uh, almost like a tree system where you've got maybe you know seven or eight large categories, and then you can break that down into subcategories. And you, well, you may even want to come up with some subcategories to your subcategories as you organize your uh, website. And to help you get an idea, I'll go ahead and create some categories for our fictitious video productions portfolio site. 
And the way you create new articles is just go up to the uh, top row here and click on New. Okay, and here we're presented with a page where we can, uh, just by filling in some forms and some blanks, we can create our category. Category creation is actually quite quick. Uh, it doesn't take much time at all. First thing that we need to do is create a title for our category. And as you think of names that you want to put in to your title, keep in mind a couple of things. One is you want to make a title that is descriptive of the content that's going to be in that file folder, shall we call it, so that uh, maybe six months, a year down the road, you come back to work on this same site. Well, you'll remember uh, just by glancing at the title what's going to be probably inside that. Or think in terms of maybe a staff member that you hire six months down the road and, and you assign her or him the task of uh, keeping your website updated. Or if you're sending this out to a client, think about their employees and how they are going to have to try and figure out what you have done here based on the titles that you give these categories. The other thing to keep in mind is that you could set up your website so that these titles display on your website. So you want to come up with titles that are appropriate, titles that uh, have good spelling <laughs> and, uh, you know, set it up in a way that you know that uh, it's not going to be offensive. Even if you don't have them display on the website, chances are they could uh, show up on the tabs of web browsers. And so you want to be careful and think uh, what's appropriate uh, as you come up with these titles. And so let's get started. My first uh, main big category is going to be articles. In the next field, um, you can leave that blank. Uh, Joomla will fill that in for you. You don't have to worry about doing that. And this, since this is going to be a main category, uh, we won't have to put it underneath another category. It's going to actually be a parent itself. And uh, status will be published. We'll give access to everyone for this one and permissions, we can leave that. Okay, well, see, it's very easy to create a category. We've just created a category just by typing in articles, basically. You do have other options. You'll notice down here, we could actually give a description to this category. You know, we could write a little article about this, you know, a couple sentences, maybe a paragraph about what is going to be contained in this big category. Uh, we could even add pictures and video here in this box. However, I don't want to, at this point in our tutorials, I don't want to confuse categories with articles. So if we decide that we want to describe a category down the road, we'll maybe come back and show you a sample of actually adding content to a category and how that can be displayed. And so basically, we're finished making our first category. And we can go up here and hit Save and Close. But if we're sitting down to make a number of categories and subcategories, well, it might be easier just to hit the Save and New, because what that'll do is not only save the category that we just created, but it opens up the next window for us to make the next one. And this makes it uh, easy to create all of our categories very quickly. Okay, let's uh, maybe make a couple of subcategories for our articles. Uh, one will be, let's call it Featured, and leave the alias blank, but this time under Parent, we're going to put this under articles. So we're going to select the parent as articles and this featured category will show up as a subfolder or a subcategory of articles. And we can go and hit the save and new. Another one that I might uh, have under articles is frequently asked questions. And uh, we could just abbreviate that uh, FAQ, but it might be better if we, if we typed it out. And we'll put that under Articles and hit Save and New. Actually, um, the other one that I wanted to put under Articles is already saved. It's one of those ones we didn't delete. So let's save and close, cancel that, I guess, and uh, go to this uh, category that we didn't delete, the blog, and let's tuck that in under Articles. So all we have to do is just go to Parent and uh, put it under articles. So now our blog will um, be a subcategory of articles. All right, um, let's hit the new button again. And another big category is going to be 
portfolio. And that's the main category, so we can just hit Save and New. And next one is Video. And this might be a good example of pointing out uh, what the alias is all about. If we were to save this and come back, I'm guessing that the alias to this category will be video underscore production. Let's try it. Let's uh, first of all save it. Subcategory of portfolio. Save and close. And then let's open that up again. Well, I was close. It's not underscore, but there is a dash in between video and production, and it's lowercase. Uh, so what's going on here is that uh, Joomla is allowing us to create these titles in standard English form, where there's you know just a regular space in between it, and it look good if it's displayed, and everybody's happy. However, in addition to this version of the category that is going to be displayed and is easy for everybody to understand. Joomla creates this alias which is better understood in computer coding. And um, computers for some reason traditionally have not liked spaces in between things. And so it creates this uh, secondary name for whatever title we give it and uh, puts a little dash in between so that there's no spaces. Now the interesting thing is that if we were to change our name here to video production samples and save that and open that back up, we'll see that the alias is still just video production. This alias becomes the permanent way for the computer coding to point to this category no matter how we change the title. So just a little point of information there. So let's uh, save and new. And uh, I don't think you need to follow along as I create all of my categories. Maybe what I'll do is put you on pause while I finish up uh, my categories and then we'll take a look at them. Well, actually, maybe I'll, I'll uh, show you what I'm doing here. I'm actually making a, here a subcategory of a subcategory. And uh, so we'll do one more here and show you what we're doing. Here, under Parent, instead of just putting it under Portfolio, we're actually putting it under Video Production. So we've got three levels here. We've got a main category of Portfolio, we've got Video Production, and then under that we've got a number of categories that will be accessible as a subcategory of a subcategory. Let's save and close this and take a look. So here we see portfolio, video production, and then under video production, we're starting a list of sub sub categories. So back on pause. Okay, I'm finished. And uh, as we look at through it, it doesn't look that uh, impressive. It's not a large uh, structure here. It's really only more of a kind of a portfolio site or what we might call a brochure site. So there's not a lot of categories or subcategories uh, involved in this site. But you can imagine if this was the website for an online store, for example, like B&H Photo, where I buy all of my camera equipment, you can imagine the file structure that they would have to make to organize a site like that or Amazon.com. But uh, as we look at this, uh, we can see that there's there's a little bit of organization going on here that will help us in the future. And if this was more than just a fictional brochure site and uh, it was an actual uh, corporation, you can imagine over the next four or five years that as people added more and more that this file structure, this category structure would also develop and grow. But we've got a good start here. We've got uh, a section called Uncategorized. We've got an article category that uh, has featured articles and frequently asked questions, a blog. And then uh, we have a portfolio, a place where our visitors can come and take a look at the type of work that our client is doing. And uh, underneath that portfolio, the uh, visitor can uh, check out the kinds of video production that the company does. Well, as I look at my file structure, I, I can see where I've made a couple of mistakes here. And that's okay. Uh, as you're creating this, just know that nothing is set in stone. You can always go and uh, reorganize your site. For example, this here, this promotional, should have been under video production. Right now, it's 
Uh, it's more a subcategory of portfolio when it should have been a, a subcategory of video production. But we can just click on that and change that very quickly by going to this little drop down menu here and just pop that back into video production and hit save and close. And now promotional is where it's supposed to be under video production instead of under portfolio. And I see I've done the same here with music. That should have also been under video production to show the um, you know different types of music videos that the company is creating. So again, we'll just change that and pop it in under video production and save and close. Okay, and now everything is where it's supposed to be. Uh, but then again, under portfolio, we also want to be able to demonstrate uh, the ability of the company to do voiceover work and still photography and how they can do really nice graphics and also website design. And then just one more main category, uh, stock media. Okay, so that's our start. But of course, as we're working on developing the site, there will be times when you think of new uh, main groupings or big categories that you can add and maybe some more subcategories. And so you'll always be making new categories for your content. But for now, I believe that that does it for Joomla categories.